Hello YouTube. I ran into kind of a roadblock or wall and I think I need a little help getting through it. What I've been trying to do, my slow on the meter, of course, is they say there's a back spike that goes through there and it's supposed to affect the wave. Well, here's the wave. So I've always been looking for a change. Um, running this wheel in this like salt water jar or some capacitors or whatever but what I noticed is <clears throat> I had the wheel running full speed two coils one coil I unplugged okay and as the wheel was spinning it I tested it to see if I was getting any power coming back out of this wall wart well I wasn't getting anything coming out of there so if it's not pulsing back then there's no effect and you can't slow the meter if that's how it works. Well, so I took the thing apart and there's diodes and a capacitor and everything. Whatever all these components are, they are blocking any current from getting back through there to give it a back spike. So I went on the internet and I looked up the wiring diagram in there and this is what it showed me the closest one I could find I made it bigger so you could see it <clears throat> and my question is is that all these diodes if I try to send power back going through it you know to get back at the wall um, it's gonna be blocked right here from these diodes now my question is is can I run maybe another diode from here going this way to bypass these so current can't come through this way but it can go that way would that work or is there maybe something I can eliminate or could I just run it to another wall wart and cut all that crap off and just add two diodes so the output on my wheel would be actually going to another wall wart with everything missing except say maybe these diodes that way the current would be plugged in the current coming out couldn't go through it'd be stopped but my current could actually feed a back spike through there if it works that way I don't know I don't hardly know anything about electricity that's why I'm asking if any of you guys have an idea otherwise me running another test would be all for nothing unless I can figure this out otherwise I don't see how there's any way in uh, slowing the meter from what I'm doing um, also also notice that I can actually get about 200 more RPMs with a bigger gap between the coil and the wheel um, it's actually about the space right there from the magnet to the bottom of the coil minus the plastic is probably about three quarters of an inch and that puts me over a thousand RPMs which gives me roughly about maybe 70 hertz because when I'm running both of these I actually get about uh, 1150 RPMs but once again you know there's there's nothing coming out of here um, running through the circuit and everything here's where the wall work connects up to it and I test right here I get like 13 volts even though it's unplugged but I still get nothing here so hopefully you guys can come up with something for me and I can get test 3 going